Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is Saturday, January 13th. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. Uh, take a quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into the trades for the week. So obviously last week was a uh, pretty decent red week. S&P got it almost all back this week. Monday was a huge up day. Tuesday, kind of choppy. Wednesday, another push higher. Thursday, we had CPI pre-market. Uh, looked like the market was going to continue to head lower. And then it bounced back. Cancel crash. Everything's fine. Never mind. Inflation's not as bad as we thought. Bounced up. And then Friday, pre-market PPI just kind of chopped around. So got back most of what we uh, lost last week. Uh, up week for the NASDAQ as well. Russell was a little bit weaker, just kind of choppy sideways. And then same with the Dow. If we look at the S&P from the index standpoint, uh, all-time highs, 48.18. We're currently at 47.83. So I got to imagine those all-time highs are going to be taking, taken out pretty shortly. Uh, if we look at the NASDAQ, we already hit all-time highs last week <clears throat> or two weeks ago, uh, right before the end of 2023, uh, hovering just below that. Uh, RUT is far from its all-time highs, uh, which it hit back in the uh, at the end of 2020. Excuse me, end of 2021, and uh, we're so we're a far far ways off there. And then uh, Dow Jones also hit a new all-time high on Friday before selling off. So looking for continued strength in the markets. Uh, gold. Uh, it was kind of choppy, had a big, a uh, little bit of a bid Thursday and Friday. Silver, big update on Friday to close stronger. Uh, bonds grinded a little bit higher. Notes, decent push higher. 10-year yield, uh, kind of the inverse of the uh, ZN. That was a little bit lower for the week. Oil had a big push up on Friday and then gave it all back. Natty Gas continues to be strong, which... If that's an indication of where I live, it is cold. So Natty Gas pushing higher. In fact, uh, my weather app says for the Chiefs game tonight, negative 34 degrees with wind chill during the game. So that'll be fun. Uh, the Dolphins, you know, they're, they're from Miami. They're not going to know what to expect with that kind of cold weather. So that bodes well for us, I think. Um, soybeans, big push lower and then a uh, big bounce. Uh, so that may be some capitulation uh, to the uh, for you know kind of the end of this down move in soybeans. We'll see. I'm going to take a bullish position in soybeans. Uh, corn, kind of same thing, a little flush and then bounce. Euro, sideways. Pound, sideways. And Bitcoin on the heels of the uh, ETF spot ETF approvals from the SEC. Pretty decent sell off. Classic kind of buy the rumor sell the news type situation in Bitcoin. Uh, I am a long-term holder in crypto and you'll see, uh, you know, Ethereum uh, after the uh, Bitcoin approval, it, it shot up with the anticipation that, hey, Ethereum might be next. Uh, Ginsler came out and was pretty clear that that's not going to happen, but he also said that about Bitcoin. So we'll see what happens there. Really from a, more importantly, from a trader's perspective, I just hope that a couple of these Bitcoin ETFs uh, are very actively traded in the options market. Anytime we can get additional symbols that are tradable from an options perspective, I am all about it. So that's the quick look at the markets. Uh, let's take a look at my trade. So kind of a bloodbath this week. I'm not going to lie. It was not fun, specifically Monday. You know, so here's a, here's a look at Monday January 8th. So this was my Monday. Not what I wanted to see in the full, first full trading week of January. You can see my power hour uh, was a little bit green, uh, about plus 500 on power hour, and everything else was red, 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 red. Which, you know, with, with Mondays, Mondays are my favorite trading day of the week. Monday is the day that I position size and create exposure much bigger than any other day of the week. And, you know, I, I probably got a little bit lulled to sleep by the Monday effect. 
you know, Monday I got to load up and it really hit me this Monday. So unfortunately, pretty bloody on Monday. Tuesday was a, a decent little bounce back. Uh, let's see, here's Tuesday right here, the 9th. So that would be down to here. Uh, so up about, you know, got back about eight grand of it on Tuesday and then Wednesday came back and hit me again. So Wednesday, here's Wednesday, the 10th. So you can see had some pretty decent losses. This one here is a $9,000 loss. Uh, had some massive slippage on that one. That's that a full loss on that trade is typically about 6,000 got hit for about nine K on that one. So that didn't feel good. Uh, and then Thursday and Friday bounced back and profitable, but still for this, these are all my zero DTE trades minus 28 K for the week. So not the way I wanted to start my first full week in January, by the way, next week, another short week, MLK holiday on Monday market is closed. Uh, so another short week of trading next week. All right. So that's zero DTE. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, dynamic butterflies, just a time fly was closed. Small loser on that one. Uh, dynamic butterflies or excuse me, dynamic calendars. Let me get all these checked. It was a red week in calendars as well. Um, first full week, you know, I kind of got back into full exposure, full position size mode, uh, and a little bit more, um, looking for a good week in calendars. It started off really well. You know, a lot of the calendars I put on Friday, uh, popped off some nice profits on Monday. And then when the move just kept going and going and going higher and it ended up taking some sizable losses. So red week in calendars as well, about minus five K, uh, very light on calendars going into next week because it is a holiday shortened weekend, uh, excuse me, a holiday shortened week. Calendars tend to not perform nearly as well, but I still did some, just kept my position size pretty light. Uh, you know, the MLK holiday shortened week won't be the same as like Christmas or New Year's or Thanksgiving, uh, but you still want to stay a little bit light or not trade at all. Uh, Iron Ducks just had one open, I believe. Yeah, no closing trades in the Ducks. Options selling. A couple winners here booked a on some short premium, booked a winner in gold for about 1300 and Natty Gas for about 400 And then lastly, my portfolio margin trades. I think I just had one winner, one loser here, if I recall correctly. Let me just get all these checked, make sure that we got them all. Yeah, so booked a uh, reverse or er, a loss on a reverse vertigo, and then booked a winner on a flying Humpty. So pretty much a scratch on a portfolio margin. So that's it for the week. Again, uh, Monday holiday close, short week. Uh, hopefully, a little bounce back in PNL for next week. Everybody have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.